guys how are you i am feeling real productive today it is a little bit of a gloomy day so it's a little shocking that i'm feeling this productive i'm not gonna lie i think it's partially because of the fact that i got a little bit ready today i did my skincare this morning and i did a little bit of makeup i got some new products from target last night because i i was literally out of everything my skin hasn't felt this supple and plump and I don't even know how long. I went back to my old toner. I was using this one by Rent. It's good. I just really like this one from Verst. And I like that they have like a little travel sized one um, because I like to take my skincare with me in my carry on because I don't want to lose my skincare when I travel. This is the Verst Weekend Glow Daily Brightening Solution. I feel like it actually works on my skin. Oh my goodness, I've been wanting to try this brand for so long and it's like new to Target as of a few months ago. This is from Bioma. This is their hydrating serum and it's a tri ceramide complex with squalene and glycerin. My skin felt so good, so, so, so good after using this. This is like the e.l.f. Skin line. Their Pure Skin Dermatologist Developed Moisturizer. This has oat milk, ceramides, and niacinamide. So it kind of reminds me of um, what I was using before with like the oat cleanser and then like all of the CeraVe things that I was using before. Anyways, I woke up this morning at around 8.30 and I got straight to work. I don't love when I do this. I don't love when I put like my breakfast aside to do work, but I have been slacking on doing these lectures for so long. I had two, like two and a little bit of a third one left. And I'm like, I just want to get this out of the way, get it done. That way I can use the rest of the day to study. And I'm feeling productive, so I really want to try and make the most of today because I do not have clinic, I do not have lab, I do not have anything. So I just finished the last of the 16 lectures that there are for this course. This is our lasers, no, our minor surgical procedures and ophthalmic lasers course. And this final is on Saturday. This is going to be my last final ever. I don't know how many times I can say that. I'm not going to, honestly, I don't know how this one is always low on storage. There's like I always delete stuff. Anyways, I'm not gonna keep on saying it, but my plan for studying for this final, I only have today, tomorrow, and a little bit of time on Friday because I have clinic. But my plan is to um, study all the laser stuff first because that's a little bit more convoluted for me. And um, then study the minor surgical procedures afterwards because that's a little bit more straightforward to me. And I feel like that will actually be the most effective for me but I haven't eaten anything all I've had is my very 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 delicious coffee this morning it was the hazelnut one chef's kiss so I'm gonna have some pizza and I want to show you guys something I realized yesterday that the creamy garlic sauce that I always ordered with my pizza it is literally Greek yogurt or sour cream I guess and then mayo with a little bit of garlic powder pepper and salt if you wish that is the creamy garlic sauce that I always order with my pizza and it's it literally tastes exactly like it and there's my creamy garlic sauce okay so it is one o'clock and the goal right now is to finish as many lectures as possible i just opened up two three four five six seven eight one two three Eight lectures. My goal is to finish these eight lectures between now and 5.30. So that gives me four and a half solid hours. And that way I can go to the gym around 5.30, be back around, you know, 6.30, and then be making dinner by at least seven o'clock because I don't want to eat dinner too late. Every time I eat dinner too late, I get bloated. So try to make dinner as early as possible. I have my coffee here. I just made another one, same like batch as, as this morning. Coffee doesn't really do anything to me at this point. It's really just to have something to sip on. So good, so, so, so good. At this point, I just really wanna focus on repetition. So this test is on Saturday. So I only have today, tomorrow, although I do have clinic tomorrow morning and then a little bit of time maybe on Friday if I come home early. Um, and the, the, there's a lot of lectures to go through. So if I can get through as many as possible today, I'll be very content and very proud of myself. Um, I definitely wanna to go to the gym today, so. My laptop is finally starting to calm down a little bit. As you can see, I took a little bit of a break to edit a little bit. It was between editing and taking a nap. And I know whenever I take a nap, it always lasts longer than I intend for it to take. So sitting here at my desk and taking my break seemed like the smarter decision. But now I feel a lot more energized and it's also getting a little bit more sunny outside. It's not as gloomy as it was this morning, which is also helping my mood. I'm not going to lie. 
I have a little under two hours left to um, finish these lectures. Now, I'm not getting as far as I wanted to, so the new goal is to finish at least three more before I go to the gym. And I'm using the kickboxing bag and someone's already using it. Thursday. I am in clinic, obviously. I quickly wanted to show you guys the VIO that I've been trying out from Haina. A few weeks ago, I went to Vision Expo East in New York, and um, I met up with the sales manager from Haina, and he offered to let me try out their new VIO. When we were choosing our VIOs, this was not available. And like the differences are very clear. With my VIO, the battery pack is back here, so it just makes it a little bit heavier. It kind of just sinks down on itself on its own. Whereas with this one, everything is just here in the front. You can actually turn, do you see that? <laughs> so that's like as bright as my VIO would go. And then you can just go past that click. And like, if you have like a really dense cataract, you're going right through that. Granted, that's if the patient can actually, you know, withstand that much light, but the oculars just come right out. You just twist and they come out like little lenses, like like as if you were to hold a 90. Whereas with the lenses in my oculars, in my BIO, they're like loose lenses. The ocular lens, like it's, it's a loose lens. So I'm afraid of losing them. So I never take them out and I've learned to just adapt with the plus twos. Whereas with this one, you can easily switch them out. Anyways, that's, I just want to show you guys. I thought it was cool. I get excited about the small things. Um, but yeah, I'm giving it back today. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys before I give it back. This was the day of my final, final exam. And I basically finished my exam and just sat around for a few hours because my friends and I planned to go to the spring festival in the city, but because it was supposed to rain, it was canceled the day before. Little did we know it was about to be disrespectfully frigid outside the next day. It was rainy and windy, but we made the most of it. And we went to a Pan-Asian style restaurant called Sam Pan. And let me tell you, I highly, recommend you try it. You get to try so much of the food on the menu because everything is kind of like a sampler. Everything was so hot and so delicious. I really did plan to get footage, but the food was just coming out so quickly one after the other that I kind of just gave up on filming. But yeah, that's it. That's the end of my third year. I'm so excited for externships. I almost forgot that once we left the restaurant, we came across this alleyway, this very small alleyway that we thought was leading us to this speakeasy, only to realize that it was just the back end of the restaurant that we were just in, but it was still cool nonetheless. If this is not your first time watching one of my videos, please consider subscribing. And if you made it all the way through and you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below, hashtag made it. And until next time, guys, stay hydrated, stay motivated, and mind your business. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta